right. If you're seeing a B1325 code, that means one of the control modules in your vehicle is detecting voltage that's too low for it to function properly. It's basically saying, hey, I'm not getting the power I need. Let's break that down. Modern vehicles are packed with modules, body control, airbag, transmission, powertrain, ABS, you name it. Each of these depends on clean, stable power to do its job. When the voltage drops too low, usually below 9 volts during startup or operation, one or more modules may log a B1325 code as a warning or fault. Now here's the thing, this code doesn't always come with noticeable symptoms, but if the voltage drop is bad enough, you might see flickering lights, random warning messages, weird electronic behavior, or even intermittent no starts. So what causes it? Weak or failing battery. This is one of the top reasons. If your battery can't maintain proper voltage, especially during cranking, some modules will complain. Even if the car starts fine, the voltage may still dip too low for some systems during startup. Corroded or loose battery terminals, dirty or loose connections at the battery can cause resistance, which results in voltage drops, especially when cranking the engine. Bad ground connections, a weak ground strap between the battery and chassis, or corroded ground points can trigger voltage faults at individual modules. Faulty alternator. If the alternator isn't charging properly, your car may be running on battery power alone, which drops steadily the longer it runs. You'll often see battery warning lights along with B1325 in this case. Aftermarket electronics or accessories. Poorly installed amps, remote starters or alarm systems can pull extra current or cause voltage irregularities. And here's something important. Even if you installed a new battery, that might not be the full solution, especially on GM vehicles where this code is common. In some cases, the fix isn't just the battery itself, but the battery ground cable. On many newer cars, especially GM models, the negative battery cable comes with a built-in current sensor. If that cable is damaged, corroded, or has high internal resistance, it can cause voltage drop and trigger B1325, even if the battery and alternator are fine. So, if you've already replaced the battery and are still getting the code, a smart move is to install a new OEM battery ground cable with the built-in sensor. That often resolves the issue. Here's what to check. Measure battery voltage with the engine off and running. You should see around 12.6 volts off and 13.8 to 14.5 volts running. Inspect and clean both battery terminals and check for corrosion at ground straps. Look for any loose or damaged battery cables, especially that negative cable with the current sensor if equipped. If the vehicle has aftermarket wiring, check that it's fused properly and isn't pulling power while parked. Use a scan tool to check which module is logging, the B1325. Sometimes it's just one affected module, like the body control module, BCM. Bottom line, B1325 is about low power delivery, not necessarily a bad module. Most of the time, it's a power or ground issue. Fix the source of the voltage drop and the code will stay gone. That's it for this one. Catch you in the next.